Hi, juniors. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about a little bit about the Holocaust Museum. Um, a few of the readings that you're going to very much uh, get to are about the modern literature. And in the 20th century, we already know that it was a very much progressive movement in literature. And the notion of what that means ties into something else called modernism. Now, modernism was predicated on the notion that um, we were leaving an industrial age and entering into the 20th century. So um, a lot of um, religious based people were talking about world um, ending uh, events. And so a lot of groups and came out with uh, that type of logic. Uh, the notion of uh, the 20th century coming forth then was mirrored in the literature that we saw. So that's why we see the works of say Fitzgerald, Hemingway, um, trifles, uh, some of our modern short story, our Southern Gothic writers, Faulkner, um, Flannery O'Connor, all of them address this uh, situation of um, the world and its um, changing forces and the power of modernism and progressivism. We saw it in the political system. And in fact, Woodrow Wilson became one of the uh, first um, recognized presidents and leaders in the United States who was part of a movement that was evolving into a modernism progressive nature. Well, we fast forward and here we are in 2022 and we are 22 years into a 21st century. And in the 21st century, we are seeing the aftermath of what we will call the progressivist uh, liberal uh, notion of progressive modernism. Uh, literature has taken um, a, an interesting turn, but one of the things that I did want to make sure that we talked about is just to mention that part of our understanding of literature is to remember a past. And one of the places where we can get that past well understood is through, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the screen right now, and it is a, um, it is a, um, link to the Holocaust Museum. And the reason that I want to make sure that you guys know about this is because um, this is in DC. You can visit eventually. Um, and in our United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, there is just tremendous amount of resources which have been um, saved. And so to visit the museum, uh, obviously you can go down to DC. I wouldn't recommend going down to the DC right now, wait till things kind of straighten out a little bit. But you certainly can go to this website and you can find out um, a lot of um, information and how American Jews were uh, able to find respite and protection in the United States. That doesn't mean it was wonderful or perfect for them, but it certainly gives us a sense of um, the magnitude of the problem. Are we in a modern Holocaust? Um, the Armenians would say, yes, we are. Uh, what we are talking about is when a Nazi type of regime or dictator comes in and annihilates or commits mass genocide of people. And yes, it still is happening. Now, here's the learning site for students. I just wanted to point that out, that you can go to what they call the Holocaust Project. Um, I would think that as juniors, maybe if you have a chance to visit the museum, you would find that that's very uh, important. Um, and I want to leave you with one final thought. My son-in-law, he works for Seco Corporation in Meadville. You might not know that the Seco Corporation is a Polish-owned company, and here it is sitting in Meadville in a satellite office. But what he gets to do is he gets to visit Poland about three to four times or quarterly in the year. So he travels to Poland and he has been able to go to Birkenau, which is one of the um, concentration camps. And because it was in Poland, 
uh, and Polish Jews and others were incarcerated there and executed there. And um, you can still go to some of the buried um, World War II um, artillery unit uh, burials or where they were like caches. They were places where they stored weaponry. There are still live ammunition in the ground, obviously. Uh, and of course, you can still see so much of what is in the concentration camp that was left by the Nazis. So um, I'm very fortunate that um, I have um, a family member that has been able to bring back some pictures and imagery and see that for himself. And um, I can do just a little bit more than going to the museum, but that doesn't count or discount the fact that the museum is absolutely wonderful. And they have a lot of great interviews that they did with um, Jewish life in Europe, uh, Jewish in pre-war Germany, uh, the final solution of what Hitler called it, uh, some of the Nazi camps uh, that uh, they had, and some of the survival uh, survivors, and uh, some of the interviews. So it is just a fantastic, uh, fantastic website. Um, I would recommend um, that a lot of a lot of money in America has been invested in making sure that the museum has everything it needs. So if you weren't familiar with the fact that we have a Holocaust uh, museum in the United States, um, you're uh, certainly should get out there and at least go look at it from the web. There's another one that we have too in America and, uh, and it would have um, helped with, um, it would have helped you guys quite a bit if you'd have known about it. And it is the uh, Native American Museum and it is also in DC. And this would have connected to um, our um, the, it's called the National Museum of the Native American, and it is absolutely spectacular. And what we have there with, um, with that is um, we have, uh, I'm going to share that with you guys right now so you can at least see what it looks like. Um, the, the Native American Museum is um, also built and designed right about the same time that the Holocaust Museum was open. There are two locations. And we have the National Veterans Memorial, which is also available at Arlington Cemetery. So um, lots of exhibits and lots of great things going on in DC. March is membership month and you can join it if you have any Native American in you. Uh, there's certainly, that would be kind of cool thing to get to um, join in. So uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to uh, suggest these types of resources if you're interested. Keep in mind that you did some Native American pieces early on in the year, and now we are looking at the modernism and uh, some of the literature that came out of the Holocaust. All right, that's today's lesson, juniors. Uh, hopefully, uh, I gave you some web links that you might enjoy and that you can easily get to uh, at any point. All righty.